Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing how to set up a Hadoop cluster and run Apache Spark on it. We will also be going through an example of running a machine learning algorithm using Spark on HDFS cluster. Hadoop is a popular open source framework used for distributed storage and processing of large data sets. On the other hand, Spark is a fast and general purpose cluster computing system that is used for big data processing and machine learning. In this video, we will be walking you through the steps required to set up a Hadoop cluster and Spark. We will demonstrate how to run a machine learning algorithm on Spark using a wine quality dataset. So let's get started and see how we can set up a Hadoop cluster and use Apache Spark for big data processing and machine learning. First, we go through the HDFS setup. In this, first we configure the .xml files. The XML files in the Hadoop cluster configuration are essential for fine-tuning Hadoop services and demons, allowing for customized settings such as HDFS block size and replication factor. The important .xml files are core site.xml, hdfs site.xml, and site.xml, mapred site.xml. The second one is setting the Java path in the Hadoop environmental files. The Java home path is a crucial parameter that needs to be configured in order to ensure compatibility and stability of Hadoop services and daemons. The next one is updating the .bash as shown in the figure. Later, editing the host files. Editing the host files is an important step in setting up a Hadoop cluster as it allows mapping of IP addresses and host names, enabling proper communication between Hadoop nodes, and at the last, setting up the SSH. SSH is a widely used protocol for secure communication and remote access to Hadoop nodes with authorized keys file containing a list of public keys with allowed access. After HDFS configuration is set up, startall.hs, which is an execution file, starts all Hadoop daemons. This is last contact, also known as heartbeat. It is most recent time a signal sent between data node and name node. Here we created user directory and uploaded dataset. Here we put replications as 3. In HDFS, block size is 128 MB, but our data is 98.58 KB, so there is only one block. In HDFS site.xml, the data is allocated to the data node by HDFS cluster. Now about Hadoop architecture. Name node is master, data node is worker. Read process. When a client requests to read a file, it contacts the name node to obtain the block locations and then directly access the data nodes to retrieve the data. Write process. When a client wants to write a file, it contacts the name node to create the file and obtain the data nodes for block storage. The client then writes data to, to the selected data nodes which handle replication and acknowledgement. Replication. Data replication is a key feature of HDFS where each block is replicated across multiple data nodes to ensure fault tolerance in data availability. HDFS provides a distributed storage layer that allows computations to be performed in parallel across multiple nodes in a Hadoop cluster. This makes it possible to process large datasets efficiently using distributed computing frameworks like Spark. To execute an algorithm on Spark with HDFS, the following steps are taken. The input data is first stored in HDFS. HDFS divides the data into smaller blocks and replicates them across multiple machines in the cluster. When a Spark program is submitted to the cluster, it specifies a computation to be performed on the input data. The program is written in Scala, Java, or Python. The program is compiled and packaged into a Java archive file, which is submitted to the cluster. The jar file contains all the dependencies required to run the Spark program. The Spark driver runs on the master node of the cluster. The driver is responsible for coordinating the execution of Spark program. The driver also manages the Spark context, which is the entry point for all Spark functionality. When the Spark driver assigns a task, the Spark executor runs on the worker node to perform the computation. Each executor runs in its own Java virtual machine and communicates with the driver using remote procedure call. When the Spark executor runs, it processes the data in parallel across multiple nodes in the cluster. Spark automatically partitions the data and distributes the processing across multiple nodes. Spark uses a directed acyclic graph to represent the computation and optimize the execution plan. The results of the computation are collected and combined into a final output. The output can be stored back in HDFS. So now I will be explaining about Spark. Apache Spark is an open source distributing computing system that is designed for processing large-scale datasets in a parallel and fault-tolerant manner. Spark provides a unified analytics engine for big data processing, which means that it can be used for a wide range of tasks such as batch processing, stream processing, machine learning, graph processing, etc. This is achieved through its high-level APIs in multiple languages such as Java, Scala, Python, R language, and SQL. Spark is known for its speed and scalability which is achieved through its ability through leverage in memory computing and distributed processing. It can handle both batch and real-time processing. 
and it supports multiple data sources such as Hadoop distributed file, file system, Apache Cassandra, etc. Spark provides a number of libraries for machine learning, graph processing, stream processing, and SQL, making it a comprehensive data processing platform. Coming to Spark configuration, here we will configure three files Spark env.sh, Spark defaults.conf, and workers file. Spark env.sh in this file, we set the environment variables for Spark configuration and in Spark defaults.conf, we configure properties such as Spark master URL, executor memory and cores and in workers file, we will give the IP address of the workers and about Spark architecture, in Spark, the Spark context is the entry point for interacting with Spark cluster, it represents the connection to a Spark cluster and allows you to create RDDs which means resilient distributed data sets and perform distributed operations on them. The cluster manager allocates resources and manages the worker node in Spark cluster. Worker nodes are individual machines in the Spark cluster where the actual data processing takes place. Each worker node has its own executor processing that runs the task and stores the data in memory or disk. The Spark driver program communicates with the worker to distribute tasks and collect the result. Now let's discuss the algorithm. The algorithm first loads the data set into Spark data frame, then creates a feature ve vector by combining all the input columns using vector assembler class. The feature vector is then used to split the data into training and test sets with a 70 is to 30 ratio. Next, a linear regression model is created using the linear regression class with the quality column set as the label column. The model is then trained on a training set using the fit method. After training the model, predictions are made on the test using the transform method, which produces a data frame with predicted quality values. Finally, the performance of the model is evaluated using regression evaluator class, which calculates the root mean squared error metric between the predicted value and the actual quality on the data set. The lower the RMSC value, the better the model performance. Overall, the algorithm uses linear regression to predict the quality of red wine based on its various chemical features and then evaluates the model performance using RMSC on a test set. So here in HDFS cluster, we have uploaded the data set and as we said before, the block size in HDFS is 128 MB. But the size of our data set is 98.58 KB, so only one block will be formed. Here we have the Spark cluster. In the cluster, we have connected three nodes. So to run the algorithm, this is the first command. This command is used to compile a Java Spark application called winequalityprediction.java. The CP flag specifies the class path where Spark dependencies are located. And the second command is used to package the compiled Java classes and resources into a jar file named myspark.jar. The C flag is used to specify the directory where the compiled classes are located. And this third command is used to submit the packaged Spark application to the Spark cluster for execution. And the class flag specifies the fully qualified class name of the main class in the application. The master flag specifies the URL of Spark master node. Here we can see the algorithm that ran in 10 seconds and here it is showing one application is completed. So our algorithm ran successfully in 10 seconds. Coming to conclusion, the analysis aimed to predict the quality of the wine based on these independent variables. The linear regression model was trained on a portion of the data set and then evaluated on separate test set. The evaluation metric used was the root mean squared error which measures the average deviation of the predicted wine quality values from the actual values. The findings of the anal analysis revealed that the selected independent variables had a significant impact on predicting the quality of wine. The RMSC value obtained indicates the level of accuracy of the model's predictions. The a lower RMSC value indicates better predictive performance. And these are our teammates. And these Thank are our you. team members and this is the contribution. Thank <laughs> you.